Good morning, friends. It's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively. Look, I've been to backstage, and my husband left me flowers when I got home, so I had these really pretty flowers sitting everywhere. It was fantastic. I hope you got to go. If you didn't, plan on going next time. Stampin' Up! puts on a rock star event. It's been a while, but it was fantastic. So we're using the sweetest cherries today and the petal pattern dies. I've done several things with this um, and liked it all. So this is the um, just stamped and punched. I used this for a stamp a stack. I did this one because I just liked it on the note cards and envelopes. Then I moved to this one for camp. There's two dies. There's this one, which is what this comes out to be. And then there's one that's a little fatter, which is what these are. And they're made to go on top of each other, which is a super cool look, but that's not what I wanted for my card. So I wanted to show you how I did it, and I used the fatter one for this sample so we could see. So I took this beautiful, wait a minute, I was going to say what it's called, and then, you know, I can't. So I have all of this tabbed where I know how to find things. So back here is my beautiful DSP. So it's right here. It's this one up here. It's number five. It's called Textured shimmer paper and you get two sheets of each you get a shaded spruce balmy blue and white so i'm using the shaded spruce next week i can show you the inside of that other beautiful catalog if you don't have that other beautiful catalog hate that for you so this i used i put the adhesive strips on the back and i cut it four by five and a quarter and I took it kind of to the edge when I cut it. And then this is the edge that I'll put at the edge of my card. Okay, so I'm gonna do this over my cute little basket. Most of this is going to come off when I pull the adhesive sheets off the back. See, fantastic. Then I don't have to poke all the holes out. You know, we love that. As much as I love our pokey tool, I am totally fine to do it this way. So now I've pulled all the adhesive off the back. I should have folded my card in half first, but of course I didn't. We'll move that die out of the way. So I'm using just plain basic white. Of course, I want to say whisper white with my bone folder with my charm on it, which is adorable, from The Wonder Basement. So I'm gonna stick this on here. I'm just gonna take it to the edge of my card. And you can burnish that down with the side of your bone folder if you want to. So here's the difference between the fat and the skinny. So I like both. All right, so I'm gonna put, oh gosh, hopefully I put that up high enough. Let's see if I can give me grace. Nope, it's stuck. I burnished it down, it's staying. So we're gonna see if I can get those words across the bottom. I'm using pecan pie. Oh yeah, I can still get it. See, you can see my eyeglasses all bent over there. Or I can scoot this down a little bit, which then you don't have to see me bent over. With my hair all whooped up in a tail today. Wishing you a... Don't lay your card in there. Sweet. I like it. Sometimes we just have friends that need a little bit of sweetness. So I found that it worked better for me to punch out my cherries 
and then stamp them. So I'm going to punch it all out. And then I'm going to add that. So here's my stem. Then I'll move my pom tie out of the way. Oh no, I want to do, that's not true. Because I want to do um, the cherries on the inside too. There we go. Do you see how confident I was that I put that where I wanted it? If I didn't, it's fine. Sweet sorbet. Perfect. Okay, and so here's what I love about some of these bolder images. If you stamp it and you feel like you have a spot that needs a little more, and I, I am totally fine with the way this is, but this is just a tip and trick for you. You can always take a little bit of the color and blend it or just use the color that's already there. And just by coloring over the top of it a little bit, it'll fill in any of those tiny spots. But probably from where you are, you can't even see what I'm talking about. But that's what I do with a bolder stamp to make sure it gets filled in if I feel like it needs to be. Again, don't always feel like that. Just trying to um, give you a tip. There's people that are way more detailed than I am about this stuff. I be that casual stamper. Casual as far as it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm turning these leaves over and I'm going to do one and then the other one. Knowing it's going to be lighter, which is my intention. If you don't want it that way, you can ink it twice. But I like it stamped off. So there's my cherry on the inside. And now we're going to put my cherry on the outside. And I'm going to use dimensional for the cherry. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of seal there on the tip for the stem. Because I want my stem to be a little 3D. I'm going to put one of those there. And one of those underneath. Wishing you a sweet day. I like it. So here's the different things I used again. I have, this is with the fatter die with the skinny die. Oh, and I added some, this has white rhinestone or white sequins on it. I've put those away, but I've got white rhinestones. I mean, who doesn't love a good rhinestone? We'll put those in some of these little holes. And the U-Pick tool is really a game changer. If you don't have one of those yet, I'm sorry for you. Is there? Now I have some rhinestones. It makes my life a whole lot easier. So one with sequins and one with rhinestones. Sweet Cherries is the name of the set. The dyes are pattern florals. Again, or petal patterns. I will um, have all this in the comments below. There it is on a note card, and there it is stamped. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Gosh, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you can stamp with me again soon. See, I'm positioning these for a photo. How does that look? All right, thanks for joining me, and I will stamp with you again soon. Bye.